If that didn't look cool to you, then I really don't know what to tell you. I have dedicated probably 20, maybe 30 hours to this game thus far. And it is, I'm not kidding here, unlike any other mobile game you have ever played. And before we go any further, I do want to preface this by stating that yes, this is a mobile game, but this is one of those few instances where a mobile game is actually equally as good as a non-mobile game. I think there is maybe a grand total of, I don't know, like five, maybe six games for mobile devices that I could actively recommend to people. And this is one of those games. I've done a video on Lord of Heroes on this channel in the past. I covered the first few hours of it and I thought it was a lot of fun. So when I was reached out to you today to take a sponsored look at the brand new content update for the game, I jumped at the opportunity. If you're interested in trying the game out, you can click that link in the description and the pinned comment below to be taken directly to the game. Now, let's start this off by talking about Lord of Heroes. Now, this game, this game, man, as I noted at the beginning of this video, this game is a game unlike any other. I am a huge fan of RPGs, I am a huge fan of strategy games, and this game is a unique amalgamation of both genres. Not only does it have a very, very deep, very rich narrative, but this game also has you utilize strategy in an attempt to conquer the world, or not necessarily the world, but specific regions within it. See, you are a lord and you happen to be the lord of various heroes, thus the title of the game, Lord of Heroes. You go around, you conquer region by region, or you ally with each region, you recruit various heroes, and you attempt to overthrow the empire, which is all the way over on the east, as they are also conquering various regions. I think I've made it up to the eighth region by this point. We are actually just about to go to battle with them, so that is really cool. I am glad that I poured enough time into this game to really see the game, the story flashed out. Now, the game does predominantly take place within battles. These battles are turn-based and I am a fan of turn-based combat. They're a throwback to old JRPGs I used to play, so this is appealing to me. Each hero has three different abilities you can use. Typically, from what I gathered, each hero's first ability is a single target ability, their second ability is typically an AoE, and their third ability is like an ultimate ability. Heroes are also capable of comboing with other heroes to do increased damage, and the abilities you see used in-game are incredibly well animated like just use some of their ultimate abilities they look so good now it is worth noting that in this game there is no traditional like hero gotcha system yes you can roll but you roll specifically for gear this means that there is absolutely no character gotcha whatsoever you have a 100 percent chance to recruit every single character this is one of the unique aspects of the game that i think really separates it from other mobile games i I loathe having to roll for potential heroes. So being able to earn every single hero in game, either by unlocking them via the story, either by logging in during special events or unlocking them via certain achievements. All of those are achievable in game and unlocking every single hero is therefore fair. Now, admittedly, the gotcha system for gear is going to be kind of hit and miss as all gotcha systems pretty much are. But I mean, with enough time, it's not really an issue. All of my characters by this point are around 1500 to 2000 combat power, which, you know, like for this point in the story, admittedly is not really amazing, but is, is pretty good. The enemies I'm going up against right now are roughly level 40 to 45. I am roughly level 30 to 34, and with a combat power that I am currently at, most of the encounters aren't really very difficult. Now, the boss fights themselves definitely are. Struggling to keep my heroes alive so I can get a three-star rating at the end has proven to be a little bit difficult, but that's where the strategy aspect comes into it, and I do love my strategy games. Now, today we are going to be highlighting their most recent content update for the game. This update in specific has brought with it Alliance Raid improvements, Lynn's Alchemy Festival, which seems to 
be an event that is going to be going on from March 12th onwards. This is actually, according to their website, a fixed term event. There's a new temporary event going on called a Spring Picnic with Schneider, which goes on from February 24th through until March 9th. There are new daily missions that are going to be present, so make sure you log in and participate in those missions to accumulate all of the rewards. There are going to be daily bonuses, and there have been balance adjustments, fixes, like, there is a lot that is going on right now in the game. There has been a lot that has been added to the game. If you are not actively playing Lord of Heroes, then I fear you are missing out. Traditionally, when I do videos for games, I don't necessarily go out and recommend them because typically, especially pertaining to mobile games, I really don't think they are really worth your time. But again, this is one of maybe five, maybe six mobile titles that I do actively recommend. This game is just better than the majority of its competition. Having a story that is told as well as a story is in this. Having a game that is as beautifully animated as this game is. Having turn-based combat that is handled as well as this game does. This, I am not kidding, I swear to God, this is a game that a lot of RPGs should actually strive towards being because it is just leaps and bounds ahead of all of its competitors. And the fact that you don't win heroes through gacha pulls, like dude, seriously. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much everything I wanted to talk about pertaining to Lord of Heroes today. Again, I have poured a lot of hours into this game. This is one of the few games that I would actually invest time into. I am probably going to attempt to conquer all of the land by the end of this week, if possible. But if you guys want to participate, if you guys want to see if you can conquer the world as well, then click that link in the description and the pinned comment below to be taken directly to the game. Anyway guys, once again, that is everything I wanted to talk about today. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.